In the race for next-generation air superiority, two fighters stand out. Turkey's Khan, the ambitious fifth-generation stealth jet, and France's Dassault Raffle, a battle-proven 4.5-generation multi-role fighter. While the Raffle has already earned its reputation in real combat with unmatched versatility, the Khan promises cutting-edge stealth, advanced avionics, and long-term dominance. In this comparison, we will look at their design, technology, weapons, and overall performance. To understand how they differ, and which one stands out in modern warfare. The Khan, also referred to as TFX, represents a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter, under development by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Following successful taxi and ground tests conducted on March 16, 2023, the prototype was ceremoniously unveiled just two days later. On February 21, 2024, the inaugural flight of Khan took place. While Dassault Raffle is a French-built, twin-engine, delta-wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed for versatility across air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence missions. The Raffle stands sleek at 15.27 meters, while the Mighty Khan stretches longer at 20.3 meters, giving it a dominating presence in the skies. Raffle can take off at 24,500 kilograms, while Khan is heavier, with a maximum takeoff weight of 34,750 kilograms. Raffle is powered by two Snecma M884E turbofans, 75 kilonewton thrust, each with afterburner, whereas Khan uses two General Electric F110GE 129 engines. 131 kilonewton thrust, each with afterburner. While both fighters fly at the same Mach 1.8, the Raffle lighter weight makes it more agile, whereas the Khan larger size and heavier frame may slightly reduce its acceleration and maneuverability at top speeds. Raffle carries weapons on 14 external hardpoints up to 9,500 kg payload, while Khan features 8 internal bays plus 6 external hardpoints for stealth and heavy loads. Air-to-air -air missiles, Raffle employs Mica, Meteor, and Magic 2, while Khan uses Turkey's Goktagan, Bozdagan, and Gokan series. Air-to-surface missiles, Raffle carries Scalp EG, ASM Hammer, Storm Shadow, and Exocet, while Khan fields SOM, Kuzgun Family, Kakir, and Akbaba missiles. Raffle costs around $115 million per unit, while Khan is projected at $100 to $120 million, depending on configuration. Recently, Dassault Aviation and Tata have signed four production transfer agreements to begin manufacturing key fuselage sections of the Raffle fighter jet in India. This partnership represents a major step forward in strengthening India's aerospace manufacturing sector and further integrating the nation into the global defense and aviation supply chain. Meanwhile, Indonesia signed a groundbreaking agreement to purchase 48 of Turkey's domestically developed Khan 5th generation fighter jets, marking Indonesia as the first international customer of the cutting edge aircraft. This historic deal, finalized during the IDEF 2025 event, goes far beyond a simple aircraft purchase. The Raffle is equipped with the Thales RB2. AAASA radar, offering a combat-proven detection range of up to 200 kilometers. The radar is optimized 
for automated target tracking, jam resistance, and multi-target engagement. It is backed by the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite, one of the most advanced defensive systems currently deployed. Khan anticipated to integrate cutting-edge technologies, including a next-generation active electronically scanned array radar system, sophisticated communication systems, and superior electronic warfare capabilities. The Khan heralds a new era in Turkish military aviation, advanced stealth features such as radar-absorbing materials and state-of-the-art coatings contribute to its reduced radar cross-section, enhancing its survivability in contested environments. India is preparing for become the largest fighter jet acquisition in its history. The Indian Air Force is pushing for a government-to-government -government G2G deal with France to procure 90 Rafale F-4 fighter jets, bypassing the lengthy and contested MRFA tender process. This comes at a time when India plans to acquire nearly 450 new combat aircraft in the coming years, a reflection of both urgency and necessity. With squadron strength falling dangerously short, the decision carries immense weight for the nation's defense and strategic future. Rafal has a nuclear strike capability with the ASMPA missile, while Khan is focused on next-gen stealth and electronic warfare roles. Conclusion The Rafal is a combat-tested fighter, trusted by several nations, and proven in real missions. It is versatile, reliable, and already a key player in modern air forces. The Khan, on the other hand, is a next-generation project, larger, stealthier, and built to compete with fifth-gen fighters of the future. While it still needs to prove itself in real combat, its design promises high-tech capabilities and strong firepower. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section. Introducing Jetline Marvel's first-ever aircraft encyclopedia, a must-have for aviation enthusiasts. Dive into a world filled with stunning images and fascinating details about the most iconic commercial and fighter aircraft. Explore the skies from the comfort of your home with this exciting collection, now available on Amazon.